Hallie Francis. And I'm Josh Pearson. And I'm Logan Harmon. And we're here today to tell you about our company called Box. But before we get there, I want to tell you about Jack. Jack is 64 years old and lives in Kennedy Towers. Kennedy Towers is a low-income apartment complex specifically made for seniors. Jack really enjoys the meals that are provided by local churches three nights a week, but he has found that when he has to provide meals on his own, he struggles to make healthy recipes. Um, he also doesn't really get out to the grocery very often, which makes it hard to buy these ingredients to make these healthy uh, recipes outside of what um, he has in his apartment. Also, when he does make it to the grocery, um, his he has found that he is unable to afford the fresh vegetables that are available there because they are really expensive. And um, given his uh, SNAP benefits and income, uh, he does not have a lot of disposable income. Unfortunately, Jack is not alone. There are about 4,000 low-income seniors in Evansville. And uh, these people don't have a lot of access to fresh vegetables, and even when they do have access, they can't afford them. Um, and there are a lot of uh, these low-income senior apartment complexes in Evansville. Uh, three of them are given here. To help solve this issue, we have come up with Boxed. Boxed is a company that delivers fresh vegetables in boxes to these residents of these low-income senior apartment complexes. We do this um, partially making them more affordable by accepting SNAP benefits. SNAP is a government-run program that provides food stamps, which are basically like vouchers that help or that are able to be used on specific kinds of food. Um, we also would be including recipe boxes to help these people learn how to incorporate these vegetables into really great recipes and meals that can help improve their health. Because um, as I failed to mention before, uh, seniors that are low income have some of the poorest health of all populations. So it's really important that they learn how to cook these healthy recipes. And unfortunately, recipe books are really expensive and seniors that are low income often don't have access to the internet, and even if they do, they don't really know how to use it the way that the younger generations do. So, kind of to give an example, say Jack was part of our uh, box program. So we would go to Kennedy Towers, deliver his box to his door. If he was there, he could come bring it in right away, but it would be able to sit out until he came home if he was gone for the day. And then he would grid out his recipe card, and he could decide whether he wanted to use the fresh vegetables to use that recipe, or if he just wanted to use them in a way he already knew how. And so now I'm going to turn it over to Josh to talk about some trends in this industry. Okay, so in the Evansville area, there are about 36 food banks um, or food pantries in the in Evansville, like I said. Um, these are mostly run by churches, and they focus on non-perishable canned goods, um, things that they can stack on shelves that if they had to sit for a while, they're going to be okay for human consumption afterwards. Um, food for Free is a company in Massachusetts who is doing pretty much the same thing like us, also delivering to um, disabled clients and senior citizens. Um, they've had quite a bit of success in their 17 years of business, um, starting at a five client base, all the way, growing up to all the way to 140 clients now. Um, one of the biggest trends um, of downfall in uh, businesses like these are the lack of marketing. They get this uh, business going and they don't have a customer base that they are reaching. Uh, to stay sustainable in the market. So um, as far as us, these food pantries, like I said, they focus on non-perishable goods and they give out these non-perishable goods for free uh, for families that can't afford them. Um, also the food banks do pretty much the same thing, but they also provide um, fresh cooked meals uh, every night or every afternoon so that those people can get to that uh, food pantry or food bank and get those. Um, for uh, our, uh, our sake, Box provides uh, fresh vegetables to these low-income families that can't necessarily get those. Um, in our case, we're focusing, like I said, on the senior citizen um, disabled homes, uh, delivering to them so they are able to get nutritional meals, whether they're making them like for themselves, like Logan said, or they're just eating them how they come. So for our value proposition, for senior citizens that live in these homes that can't get to um, the grocery store to get their groceries, or those fresh vegetables. Box is going to deliver those to their doorstep um, to allow them to make their own food or have that supply um, so that they don't have to use their income that is not always there for them to use. So now I'm going to turn it over to Hallie. She's going to talk about our business model. So like Josh said, one of the biggest issues with Food for Free is people don't know about it. So 
one thing that we're going to really push on is social media. Now, yeah, like Logan said, seniors do not have access to social media because they don't know how to use the internet. But, I mean, all of you have had grandparents or an elderly cousin that you've had a part and taken care of. Like, you might take them food or something like that. So if we can just push this on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, outlets like that, then someone's going to see it and think, wow, Grandma could really use this. Or maybe that's how Jack found out about it. His daughter went on Facebook and saw Box and thought, my dad could really use this. So uh, so our key partners are going to be Scott Anderson, who has started a hydroponic garden uh, in downtown Evansville. It's in an old parking garage. So we're essentially going to help pay for seeds to grow vegetables from him. And then he'll grow them for us. And then we'll go harvest them. and distribute them to our seniors. Uh, St. Vincent has actually given a $125,000 grant to a program somewhat similar to ours, so we're going to go after them to get grant money. And then Cisco Corporation is a local company who does packaging, so that's where we're going to get our refrigeration boxes from. And then our key resources kind of are the same thing. So like I said with Scott Anderson, we're going to use the hydroponic garden so that we don't have to pay Walmart or Sam's Club a ton of money for these vegetables. They're local. We know there's not a lot of chemicals in them, and we know that they're safe. Like, you know, you could eat a chemical that could alter your medication like a lot of seniors are on. So uh, we will need a vehicle, obviously, to transport these boxes to and from these people. So with that grant money that we're hoping to get from St. Vincent, we would buy, uh, like, a Ford Transit van and throw the boxes in there and just take them around to the low-income high-rises. And then our building, we're hoping to use a portion of St. Vincent or use some of our grant money to uh, lease the building. And then our packaging is, of course, going to come from Cisco Corporation, and we're hoping to create a partnership with them by offering the use logo, their logo on our boxes. So, Box is a company that is striving to help improve the health of seniors by providing them with fresh vegetables. This could really help the 4,000 seniors, including Jack, who I mentioned at the beginning, um, to help them have better lives. So, thank you. <laughs>